be only one thing worse than a historic tragedy. That would be forgetting it even happened. Well, Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis says 80 years after a soldier was lynched at Fort Benning, the Army has made sure that no one will forget Private Felix Hall. I wish today felt like we were righting a wrong, but I know that what we are really doing is just acknowledging one. To finally recognize the lynching of 19-year-old Felix Hall may be a poor substitute for catching his killers, but 80 years later, that's all that's left. Thousands of soldiers have trained at Fort Benning since the Army was fully integrated, yet few knowing its dubious place in history the site of the only known lynching on a U.S. military installation. Though Private Hall was taken from us decades ago, this wound has been open for far too long. On February 12, 1941, Private Hall was last seen walking in the direction of the so-called Colored Post Exchange. Six weeks later, his decomposing body was discovered nearly a mile away in this ravine, a noose around his neck, his hands and feet tied. The FBI said there were signs Hall had frantically tried to dig away the side of the ravine with his feet so he'd have something to stand on. His killers were never caught, all suspects long dead. That's bad, do you understand? That's bad on the country. Hall's 85-year-old cousin James lives in Millbrook, Alabama, only a few hours away. He could not make it to the ceremony, unveiling a plaque that finally acknowledges Hall's murder near the spot where he was last seen alive. Now the people that did that, I feel real sorry for them. You can take something you can't give back. That's the worst thing in the world. Why 80 years later? Why now? Well, last summer in the wake of the George Floyd protests, a constituent reached out to Sanford Bishop's office asking why the Army had never acknowledged Felix Hall's murder. It turns out no one in the congressman's office had heard of Private Hall either. I was heartbroken to learn about Private Hall's murder. This happened on this base. It happened in our community. A second stone marker is planned for the area where Hall's body was found. These memorials will certainly outlast the signs for Fort Benning, named after a Confederate general. The place where Felix Hall was lynched is scheduled to get a new name, free from the tint of segregation by next year. At Fort Benning, Randy Travis, Fox 5 News.